Yeah, what's up? Kempsey here and welcome to my new tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually add text to, to a 3D text in Cinema 4D or a 3D logo. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. It's quite easy. Um, it has more to do with the materials than with the text. But anyway, um, I think it's a bit easier than the version with the adding texts in Photoshop. Just put it in the material and it automatically adds it to the text. The other side is I'm a bit a bigger fan of the Photoshop version when you have just 3D text, when you have like model and text, stuff like that, or something behind the text in here. I think it would be better if you add the material, uh, the text in here. But if you just have the 3D text, I would use the Photoshop version, just adding a text to and put it on overlay. But that's pretty much up to you. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make how you can make this one. And for that, I'm actually just going to be starting with the text. I'm going to be making a tutorial really quick like that. Um, maybe changing the font because actually in my last tutorials I always used that font. And yeah, let's see what I can do. Come on. Actually, loads my tons of fonts. Well, that's a bad thing about having that many fonts. But anyway, um, I'm going with Planet Cosmos. I actually think that one looks pretty cool. So yeah, um, so just set up your text how you like it. I really like going with depth on 300 and caps, fill out cap and fill out cap as well. One step and one radius, one centimeter radius. So um, let's start and we just make a new material for that. Click on create and click new material, it's the first option. To go in it, add a color. I like using a gray one for that one should be a bit brighter gray like that I'm just going with that one should I like doing it with orange because orange actually gives it a cool um, I don't know how I can say it just gives a cool look of the text when you add it um, so yeah add a reflection actually put the brightness of the reflection down to about 30% and use a gray again like so actually maybe put it out on 35% so now I go on specular and that's actually already right I would go with colored you can go with plastic or colored Pretty much both of it is pretty cool. I'm going with color this time. So what you go now for the texture is go to color and add the texture here for that load image. And I'm just going with the text I just showed you. You can pretty much use every text you want to use. Um, just open it up and Cinema 4D puts it on the material. So actually it will ask you this image is not in the project search path you want to create a copy at the project location this will actually make um, a copy for Cinema 4D in the folder the text is saved I'm not going to be doing it because I don't want every text to twice so if you want a copy just do it if you don't want to, want to have any copy don't do anything just hit no so that would actually be the creation of the text so now just put it on the text and if you render this out now, I'm going to show you what happens. Actually, the front is gray and the back has a text on it. So we want to have, or we want the whole text texted. So what we're going to be doing, click on the material and now put the projection on cubic and hit seamless here. So if you run it out now, your whole text should be texted, and yeah, it is. 
So you see the whole text actually is texted, the front thing and the side things. But actually they look like stretched or something. I don't know how to call it, but it just doesn't look too well. So I'm just putting the same material on the text again. That's just a tip, you don't have to do this. It's not necessary for this tutorial. I'm just going to be using it because it looks a bit better. So now I just put it in front of the first material material you just added here. Um, keep everything how it is. Just put in the first material you added and you added it with cubic and seamless. Put in selection C1. This will um, put that material just on the front and the other material will be in the back. So if you render this out now well, um, the the side things still look a bit stretched but it's not that hard anymore and I think it just looks way better than without it. So that's just a small tip from me, you don't have to do it it's not necessary for the tutorial but I think it looks better in my eyes so yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this there are maybe a few more ways how you can get this on uh, get the text on the side looking better but I'm using this way and I showed you this one so if you like this one please comment rate and subscribe and um, give me some suggestions for further tutorials um, because yeah I mean I could have ideas for tons of tutorials actually but I don't know if they will bring you something and help you out I hope this one did and yeah give me some suggestions for further tutorials uh, yeah I'm out peace